Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Premier. Day after day, I hear from constituents in my riding and across this province about the harsh reality of this government's incompetence. Whether it's freezing budgets at mid-sized hospitals like Ross Memorial, Peterborough Regional Health Centre being forced to eliminate 153 nursing positions, 61 RNs cut from St. Joseph's in Hamilton, or 70 nurses cut at the Trillium Health Centre in Mississauga. No area of this province has been spared from the government's failure to deliver on the home care, long-term care and mental health care that our patients need. The minister has failed his mandate to ensure that the needs of Ontario's patients be at the centre of our health system. While the Premier pledged to be different than her predecessor, we see that she is running down a path away from our patients, ruthlessly firing 1,400 nurses in the last year. Mr. Question. Speaker, will the Premier finally support the growing needs of Ontario's patients? Thank you. Minister of Health and Long Term Care. Minister of Health, Long Term Care. Well, you know, try as I might, Mr. Speaker. I just. <laughs> I have to go back to this allegation from both opposition parties that somehow we fired 1,400 nurses over the last year. And again, so are you telling me you don't believe the Ontario College of Nurses that the, is the, the body responsible for regulating nurses, which on their website they've indicated that 3,000 more nurses, the majority of those in hospitals, are working in this I'm a little dismayed. I'm a little perplexed of why they just dislike and don't trust and don't believe the Ontario College of Nurses. Because I think that that's probably the best and most independent Answer. source of information that we have, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. Thank you. Supplementary. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, Mr. Speaker, back to the Premier. The government is out of touch. Order. Those numbers are true. I didn't make them up. I didn't pull them out of thin air. But you're no longer driven. Come to order. Please finish with the question. Thank you. Uh, as a nurse, I firmly believe that our registered nurses, our nurse practitioners, our registered practical nurses and nurses students deserve our support here and respect. If there are fewer nurses, then there are fewer nursing hours. That means that the number of hours of care for the patient are cut. After 13 years, this government has become both financially and morally bankrupt, and the accessibility and the quality of patient care have deteriorated, and they continue to crumble. So, Question. Mr. Premier, since you haven't answered the member for Simcoe North, the member from uh, Nipissing, or the member from Elgin Middlesex London, are you going to remove Thank you. the Minister of Health? Order. Minister of Health, long term care. So, you know, I, I would imagine that the member opposite, therefore, is a member of the College of Nurses of Ontario. So call them up, tell them that you're a paid member, ask them how many more nurses are working in our hospitals, are working in our communities last year alone. And it's 3,000 net, not any gross number that the member opposite might want to talk about, a net increase, Mr. Speaker. But it's understandable because maybe her relationship isn't that great, because it was her <laughs> government that fired 6,000 nurses when they were in power. It was her government that described them as out of time, out of sorts, hula hoops, Mr. Speaker. And it was her government that closed 10,000 hospital beds. You talk about devastation in the hospital. Answer. We're rebuilding the mess that they created, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. 